Hey, it's Steve here with RV Site to Site again. And uh, after you watch this video, if you enjoyed, you think it's helpful to you, please give it a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more videos like this, please subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you'll be notified of any upcoming videos. Uh, some people do videos once every week. I probably won't do that, but I'll put them out as I come to them. And so you would like to be notified about that. And so if you hit the notification bell, it'll send you a reminder. And so anyhow, on this week, uh, you can see my truck bed is up pretty high and I'm a pretty big guy. And so me getting up there, sometimes I step on the trailer hitch and then the bumper and then over into the uh, truck bed, but it'd be easier if I had a ladder. And so. So I was watching, uh, I think YouTube or Facebook or something the other day, and I saw an ad for this uh, ladder that mounts on your tower gate. So uh, if you'll come on in here, let's do a little bit of unboxing on this thing and see what we've got. This is the first time I've been in this, and so I have no idea what it is. Let's see what we got here. Got some staples in it. Let's see if we can bring it out this way. Now this is supposed to fit any truck, and uh, it's uh, uh, sort of like this, and uh, you mount it back here to your truck uh, tailgate. And then uh, it uh, comes with these pieces here uh, and uh, the offset here and then the regular tube and the ladder and a couple of leg extensions and the hardware that comes with it. This uh, tailgate ladder pad goes on here and you screw this into the uh, tailgate. So, all right, let's get to work. All right, in this package comes the ladder, some side tubes to mount it with, uh, and then uh, these right here are the what is called the rocker arm channels. There's the tie down straps and plenty of hardware. And the main thing was the bracket that fits on the tailgate. And the instructions, which I have read actually. All right, the first thing you have to do is to uh, put in a 5 16 cents uh, nut driver. And you mount it, the way I figured it is I can mount it right here to clear everything. If I put the tailgate up in this position right here, will clear everything. It says to mount six screws. It says if you have a bed liner, you need to do the long screws. And if you don't have a bed liner that's sprayed on, use the short screw. So I have a bed liner sprayed on, I'm gonna use the short screws and it says use six of them minimum. All right, so we're gonna, these are self-tapping screws and we'll see how good they self-tap. Well, that tapped pretty good, but I think I'm just in metal now. All right, it looks to me like I'm gonna have to use the long ones here. Right, this out. All right, so I used the long one there. Make sure it got this good and straight. Alright, I'm going to start the hole with this right here because it seems a little easier. I think my plate moved just a little bit. Thank you. 
These are stainless steel screws because I dropped a couple of them while I go and tried to pick it up with a magnet and it wouldn't pick it up. So that means they're stainless. I wish this was stainless because I've already got rust appearing on this. So I'm going to have to paint them. I'm going to go ahead and show you how this mounts to begin with. But fortunately, it's easily taken apart. And so, all right. Uh, these will attach like this right here. This is just enough to clear. This is stood up enough to clear this cable right here. All right, now we've used these channel bars right here. And I um, think I'm going to put a washer in between there. All right, got that one. And then it gets a lock nut on there like that and I'll tighten those down in just a few minutes we'll get the other arm here this will go like that All right, I'll tighten those down just a little bit later. All right, so the next thing we got to do is this piece right here has to be here, so it'll go over this right here. So we will make an attempt to put this in here. I'll put a washer on it. And we'll see if we can get this in here with that washer on it. Yay. All right, so we'll put a lock nut on that. And again, I'll tighten all these down. You don't have to watch that. And then here's the other piece. This is the straight one. All right, and so we'll put this like that. And we'll see if we can once again Get this in here. I'm getting pretty good at that. All right, and so we'll put this lock nut on. And the final thing, another thing I don't like, is you can come up closer. And another thing I don't like, it's already rusted in here. You know, this is not good. So I'm gonna have to take it apart and spray it down there. But uh, this goes on, this goes on like so. And uh, we'll give it a try at that length there. And then this pin goes in. Okay, that'll go there. This one will go here, and that way you can adjust it. But the way this works, it comes over like so, and like that. And there you have your ladder. When I tighten this down, it'll be much sturdier. And so then the way it folds up, it comes up like that. All right, so. This will strap down around right here, and then it'll go across like this. Let's give it some slack here. And this will go under like here. I'm thinking that we may have to do this one on the outside. So let's do this one right here okay we're gonna put the strap down here and uh, uh, I actually would like it to be 
a little more this way and I'll see if I can do that. So this will actually, this strap already has a pre-punched hole in it. I'm going to put this right here. All right, I got it marked there, so I'm going to put the screw here. Now I'm using the long screw. Tighten this up just a teeny bit. Not a lot. There we go. That's good and solid. So, when we close the tailgate, couple screws there. Don't want to lose them. There we go. The black strap has got it good and secure. I've got the bolts tightened down here and they're they're snug but they're not too tight otherwise this wouldn't swivel. Alright so and I've got my ladder adjusted. I've got several different things here. You want this adjusted so it's about 15 degrees. That's what the instructions say. All right, so we bring it over. And down. And there you go, a pretty sturdy ladder, actually. Now, I am, well, I'm not 300. <laughs> <laughs> With a couple of dots, I could be quite a bit less, but uh, I don't know. Anyhow. I'm hoping that this will support me. It makes it much easier for me to get in the back of the truck. All right, so this completes this video. I think this ladder is going to help me out a whole lot. I hope it helps you out. And if it does, if you don't have one of the newer trucks that have ladders already built into them, this is a great project to add. And so if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Consider subscribing. Make sure you hit that, that little bell there, and so you'll get notified of any videos that's coming up, and we've got several coming up. And so until then, have a great day.